If you're the owner of an Android device that happens to feature a Snapdragon chip, there is no doubt that you have been very impressed and amazed by what Snapdragon has been able to do with their latest chipsets, namely the Snapdragon 8 Elite line of chips. They've been able to push and even surpass Apple Silicon and given it much needed competition. Now, Snapdragon is not done, they're not finished. They are setting the mark even higher with the Snapdragon 8 Elite 2 chip set that is expected to drop later this year and it will be powering the next generation of Android devices. Now we've gotten early information about some of the specs and some of the leaks and the performance of it, but we're getting a little bit more information about how powerful the chip actually really is. So in this video guys, tag along with me as we take a look at how powerful the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 is shaping up to be. But before we dive deep into all the information, if you're new to this channel and enjoy staying up to date with the latest tech news, you landed at the right place. Do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and hit that like button if you enjoy this video. All right, let's dive into this. Article here, Snapdragon 8 Elite 2 could be so powerful that even laptop CPUs are left behind. What is the limit? Is this the limit? So this is an article out of Phone Arena. So what we are hearing right now from the Snapdragon 8 Elite 2 chipset is amazing. Now we got early leaks about the Antutu score, which was again, the highest that has ever been recorded on Antutu so far to date. And then we got a little bit of information, not confirmed or not uh, official from Geekbench, but we're hitting numbers of over 4,000 in terms of single core and over 10,000 in terms of multi-core. Again, we're still waiting for the official release of that, but these numbers are, again, are the best. They're surpassing what Apple Silicon can even do, and they're surpassing, obviously, what the Elite uh, Gen 1 chips can do. So we're talking five gigahertz on a mobile phone CPU. Again, five gigahertz, which is surpassing laptop CPU. So let's dive into this. So the chipset is also known as uh, SM8850 per initial documents. Now this is related to the OnePlus 15. Um, now the SM8850 prototype has apparently surfaced in a leak by o, by ORAC29 on X. And we shared a couple of screenshots here that shows two different variants of the device running here. Uh, let's talk about those. Allegedly, there are two Qualcomm reference devices running the chip, identified by the code SM8850. These test units revealed that the new chip could achieve some of the highest clock speeds ever seen in a smartphone device. One model reportedly hits a peak speed of 5.3 gigahertz. Again, that surpasses laptop CPU. We're talking about Intel's Core Ultra 9 288V CPU. Now that tops out at 5.1 gigahertz. Now, this is a high-end CPU from 2024. Now again, laptop CPU, obviously desktop CPUs can go faster, but to even be in that realm on a mobile phone CPU is just ridiculous and crazy. Again, uh, surpassing what laptop CPUs can even achieve. It's truly astonishing. Now, there's another variant that is running at a 4.8 gigahertz, so I'll be a little bit slower and more steadier, which is likely going to be close to what consumers will actually get when it hits the market. But again, 4.8 gigahertz to 5.3 is going to be an amazing accomplishment by Qualcomm and Snapdragon to see what they can actually pull off. So again, pretty fascinating to see what they can come up with. Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Elite 2 is set to deliver significant powerful improvements featuring a nearly 30% boost in CPU power thanks to its new Orion architecture that basically could double the power at twice less the power cost. So more power at less. Obviously, that's the golden, the golden era that you want to get to. And it looks like Qualcomm Snapdragon are getting to that point right now. So, and you're probably wondering, when can we get our hands on these devices? So Snapdragon Summit is happening uh, in September, I believe the 23rd, 2026. So that will be when they actually unveil the Elite Gen 2 chip. And I believe the first device that will feature it will be the Xiaomi 16 lineup that will obviously come out later in the fall. So if you wanna get the probably the most powerful chipset on the mobile market, 
you probably want to wait for the Xiaomi 16 when that's dropped later this year. But again, very exciting news from Snapdragon and Qualcomm pushing the envelope. And there are actually, again, giving Apple all it can handle in terms of the mobile CPU space. So shout out to Qualcomm and Snapdragon for what they are able to achieve out there and for Android out there finally have something that can push Apple to its limits. But let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section. Do you think five gigahertz is too much? And do you think Snapdragon will actually be able to achieve that on a mobile phone? Or will they drop it down to something that's a little bit more stable probably taking a little bit less power as well. But let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section. Once again, thank you for taking time out to watch this video. Again, if you wanna stay up to date with the tech news, do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and hit that like button if you enjoy this video. Also, if you enjoy the type of content, you may have friends or family that enjoy this, so make sure you share this with them. And if you want to stay up to date with the latest tech news, head over to sound30.com where I curate and aggregate tech news from around the web covering Apple, Samsung, Google, Android, computing, and even more general tech news all at the website sound30.com. And for even more tech news in video form, check out one of these two videos right here. Until next video, guys, stay nerdy.